Hello everybody, it's Alex here from WPEagle.com. I'm back again with another video, and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to add a diary or a calendar functionality to your WordPress website so that you can show off upcoming events. Uh, this could be useful, say you're a club and you've got meetings and things coming up and you wanna show them to your site visitors. Uh, maybe you're a band and you wanna show upcoming gigs. Uh, maybe you're a gym or a health company and you've got classes and events and things coming up so you wanna show them. So. That's what you can do with this plugin. Um, you can it works very much like Outlook or Google Calendars, and in, in ways that you can you know add recurring events and all sorts of great functionality. Um, so I think you're going to love it. Um, and let's get started. So here's a plugin. It's available on Code Canyon. It's called Calendarize It, and it's twenty five dollars. And um, you can expand it. It does other things. Um, there's some paid add-ons, so that you can um, if it doesn't do exactly what you need. Um, with an add-on it probably will so there's things like um, I think they're right down the bottom here things like adding Google Maps uh, community events different payment options so people can book an event um, if you sell events um, you can have advertising reviews RSVPs all sorts of different things it's really really good um, but as it comes the standard kind of core plugin also does a lot of stuff and you, you may not even need any of those add-ons so I've already purchased it and downloaded it. Once you've downloaded it, you just need to um, upload that zip file. And um, the easiest way to do that is if I'm, I'm just gonna go to the back end of our test site here, which is available on wpeagledemo.com if you wanna go and have a look. Uh, the best way to add a plugin is just to go to plugins and click add new. And then just click upload. And then click choose file and browse to the file on your computer. Um, and then just upload it and install. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna do it again. Um, what I am gonna do is activate the plugin. So I'm going to install plugins, if you haven't already activated it. Um, when you install it, it will ask you if you wanna activate it, so you will obviously activate it. I'm gonna do it now. And then we can start setting it up. The first thing we're gonna to need to do is add the license key, um, which you get from within um, Code Canyon. So I'm just gonna to go to the downloads area. And I'm just gonna find the correct, I've got too many downloads here to go through. I'm just gonna sort it by Code Canyon. Uh, there it is. And then if you click download, you can download the license certificate and that's where you'll find your license certificate. So let's download it. I'm just gonna open that up. It's just a little text file. And you get this purchase code here. So I'm just gonna copy into my clipboard, paste that. Yeah, then we're all done. Okay, once that's done, you can scroll up to the top. Um, you may see an update, so I've got an update. I'm gonna click update now, and hopefully that should automatically do it. It'll only work once you put your license code in. So there it is, I'm just gonna tick and then click update. Takes a few seconds. Okay, that's done. Let's just return to the plugins page. And there's another couple of messages you may have noticed at the top here. So let's see and go through these. First one is to install the help. So if we click on this link to go to the downloads, this is where you can um, basically install the add-ons for the plugin. Some are free, some you have to pay for. It's quite easy, you can see they're all here, different themes. So here's the help, I'm just gonna click download, install that help, just in case we need it later. I don't think we will, <laughs> but you might do so. Um, I suggest you install it. Okay, that's done. All right, and the next message at the top is to start the automatic setup process. So let's click confirm and let's just let it do its thing. And I think that's done. So once the help's downloaded, you need to switch it on, just click on, and that's done. And everything else should have been set up because we clicked that button. So now let's go and um, start by adding a new calendar. So you find that in calendars down the left-hand side here, all the options are under calendarize it. And I'm gonna um, just call it uh, test calendar. So you call it whatever you want. You can have multiple calendars, so that's useful. That's created, once it's created, we can click and just have a look at the options. There's nothing extra in there. Okay, so now we need to start adding some events. 
So to add an event, you go to add new event. So here's the add new event screen. Let's call this one um, Monday Club. And we'll schedule it for a Monday. Here we can put some blurb in about uh, whatever the event's about. So uh, this is Monday Club where we get together and talk about WordPress. Please come along. You know, that kind of thing. And as we scroll down, you can see uh, here's the, the actual calendar where we can add the event. So as I said, it's Monday Club, so let's add it on a Monday. So that's the day here. Um, if it was gonna start next week, I could click here. So let's click on the 14th. Here you can specify the time and it starts at, at six o'clock through to 7.30. And you've got lots of options here where you could say it's every day, every week, every two weeks. This one's gonna be every week. <clears throat> and then if you want to say it ends um, on a certain date, you can you can specify that there as well. Um, you can add different colors. So let's give it a nice color, nice dark red. And there we go. Ooh, let's close the options. To access the options again, you just click the event. Um, here's a few more options. You can either have the link go through to a tooltip. So um, when someone clicks the event, when they're looking at it, it just brings up the information in a kind of little hover over. Or you can link through to a specific, um, to a page, um, which will be a kind of uh, its own page all about the event. So let's set it to page, you can see what that looks like. Um, here's the repeating options. In here you can exclude certain dates. So say for example, um, it wasn't gonna be going on on the 28th here, I can just click that and click exclude and then it will remove that um, from the repeating. If I click accept we'll see it's been removed. So that's all done for now and then if we go over here there's some more options. I'm just going to hide this tooltip. Here we select the calendar, we're going to put it onto our new test calendar. You can have different organisers so if there was different people in your organisation running different events you can add them here and they'll be displayed. So let's add an organiser, let's just add me. Uh, you can add different venues, so let's add a venue. WP Eagle Towers. And all these things um, will be displayed on the event. But they can also be used to filter different events. So for example, people can look at all the um, events on at WP Eagle Towers, for example, or all the events by me as an organizer. Okay, you've got some more options here. I'm gonna leave them all switched on, but you can turn off the details, the image, all that kind of stuff. Speaking of image, let's set an image. So just click in the usual kind of uh, WordPress way. Um, I don't know what a suitable image will be. Let's, this picture of this man will be fine. You'd obviously upload your image. Uh, there's some more different images as well. You can have a small one for the detail box. So, you know, we could just add a little eagle for that. That's probably a bit too small. Um, oh, that'll do, that'll do. Um, then there we go. So down here is where you can actually organize how it looks. Um, I'm not going to change this for now because we'll have a look at what it looks like and then if we need to make any adjustments, we'll come back. So I'm going to click publish. And that's done. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is create a page for our calendar. So what I'm going to do is go to new and then page. And I'm just going to call it calendar. Obviously you can call it whatever you like. And then I'm going to insert a shortcode um, to which will show the calendar. Shortcode has many options, so you can just um, have the basic shortcode, or you can specify certain calendars, all that sort of thing. I'm going to um, just use the standard shortcode. So I've got it in my clipboard and paste it. If you want to type it in, it's just the word calendarize it in square brackets. And then I'm going to click publish. And if we view this page, hopefully that will show our calendar. And there's our page with the calendar on it. Uh, it's a little bit squashed, maybe needs a little bit of styling, but generally it's it's there. Um, if I set this to a full width, actually, it would probably look better. So I'm just gonna go back, edit the page, and then the template here, oh, no. Sorry, in the layout here, I'm gonna use uh, no sidebar. Obviously, that's gonna depend on the theme you're using, um, where you set that. So now if I go back, the page should be wide enough so that it looks nice. There we go, look at that. Uh, there's my Monday Club, and if I give that a click, it takes me through to that event. Oh, and it hasn't worked. 
I think I need to set some permanent options. So let's go back to the dashboard. And let's just go through the calendarize it settings while we're here and just check that everything's in order. So options under calendarize it. So in here you've got a whole host of loads of different options. I'm not gonna go through all of them because there's far too many, but um, basically here you can um, set different templates. I think version two is, is the best one to go for. And you can turn things on and off, whether you want Google Maps, you can add extra bits of HTML if you need to. You can set your thumbnail sizes. You can turn links on and off, turn the search on and off. And turn off the CSS if you want. Um, change any of the default options in terms of what elements of the of the events you want to show on pages. And here you can play around with the mobile trigger response size if you need to. Okay, there's a whole, as I said, there's a whole host of different options um, as you can see, but what I'm looking for actually was the one to do with the permalinks because I believe that's why that click didn't work. As you can see, there is tons of things in here you can play around with, you're gonna be in here for a while. So here's the permalink ones. And I think I'm gonna need to tick this forced rewrite rules. Um, let's just see if that fixes the problem. I've seen this before on, on certain sites. It could be to do with hosting or something, I'm not sure. I think that'll fix it. So let's go back, we're back on the calendar and I'm gonna just click Monday Club again. And hope that it brings up the event page. Uh, it looks more promising. So yeah, here we go. So it's created this for me, it's got the event details here, and when it starts, all that stuff we typed in. And here is the venue details and stuff, which um, because I haven't filled those in, there's nothing here. But let's go and do that while we're, while we're on here. So I'm gonna go back into the back end again. And under calendarize it, you've got this venues option here. And if I go in and change WP Eagle Towers, here we can add some stuff, you see. So um, some blurb, you know, WP Eagle Towers is a really uh, good venue. You know, you fill in your stuff. And you can fill in the address, 12 uh, place uh, somewhere. In the world, two, three, four. You know, you fill it all in. England, and you can fill in some Google Map stuff if you want. I'm just going to type in an address. Um, Ten Downing Street. I don't know. Hopefully that'll work. You can type in the phone number. I'm just doing this so it'll fill out the template and look so you can see where it goes. Uh, email address. website and you can even put an image if you want I'm not gonna to bother today so let's click update and then if I go back to um, our calendar which I've got in this tab and I'm gonna click on Monday Club again let's see what's happened there we go there's all our venue information with a nice map and, and all sorts so um, well, that's kind of just scratched the surface. It's a really powerful plugin, but as you can see, it's quite easy to get a basic calendar up and running. There's other things you can add. I know there's a widget um, that we could add to our sidebar, which would show our upcoming events. Um, obviously, you just go into appearance and widgets and you find it in there, just drop it onto your sidebar. And there's all sorts of different options, but as I say, I wanna keep this video uh, short and to the point. Hopefully that's got enough to get you up and running. Go and get the plugin. Uh, if you've got any questions and you get stuck with it, put them in the comments um, on either wpeagle.com or just below this video on YouTube and um, I'll try and get back to you. I hope you like the videos. Uh, I'm just gonna try and get the frequency up a bit more again. Sorry, I've been a little bit um, lax. I've just been busy on other stuff, but um, uh, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and like and everything. That really does encourage me to make more videos. So um, that's it for now. See you later. <laughs>